Good evening. It's uh, Tuesday the 7th of April and uh, I'm out for my exercise with uh, my dogs and uh, decided to share some enlightening poems with you. I'm really excited because my CD, Perusia Loves Light, to go with the book of the same name, um, arrived yesterday. So I'm going to share you some poems on the uh, <clears throat> gemstones and crystals of uh, revelation and uh, our whole um, brain function allowing us oneness and wholeness with love. Um, so yeah, prayers for uh, those suffering with the uh, coronavirus and thanks to our wonderful healthcare systems who are all looking after us and, um, and yes, to all of us who are um, staying at home and uh, it's a very welcome time to catch up on a lot of uh, jobs that have just not had time to do so that's a, a nice thing to be able to do um, and uh, yeah I'm going to uh, change the camera angle in a minute to uh, they'll be pointing at flat home and steep home so uh, enjoy the view and it should have been the full moon rising um, the pink super moon. Uh, it was a wonderful moon last night and uh, and I thought oh I'm looking forward to tonight I'll make a video but uh, sadly we've got complete cloud cover so I hope that's not man-made that would be a really cool evil thing to do. Um, oops that's just fallen to earth. <laughs> right I'm gonna pause and then start a poem. So yeah this is our seafront here um, and yeah, there's been talk of them removing our beautiful Victorian lampposts. How crazy is that? So uh, may those uh, remain forever in character with the, uh, the Victorian town that, uh, that we live in. So, first poem. Uh, oh, I'm going to start right from the beginning, actually. So, Perusia loves light. How does the light get in? Um, and then Bridge Ends, which is a poem about the way our brain works when we're not in stress and uh, when we're attaining to God's love. Here we go, enjoy! Jesus Christ is coming quickly. It is the Passover night of the full moon for Ernie Sun. Perusia loves light. How does the light get in? The light sneaks in loudly quietly waiting to be observed. Bridge Ends. Bridge End, Penny Bont. A tale of two bridges, bridging the gap like the corpus colossum bridges two halves. Brain hemispheres joined, making whole, making one. Bridging heaven and earth, flesh and spirit becoming one, becoming whole, whole. Two halves joined, bridged by the corpus colossum. Like Jesus Christ bridges the gap between man and God, between man and love. Corpus Christi, the end of the arc of the bridge is golden. All things new. Revelation 21.3 Look, the tent of God is with mankind and he will reside with them and they will be his peoples and God himself will be with them, and he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more, neither will mourning, nor outcry, nor pain be any more. The former things have passed away. And the one seated on the throne said, Look, I am making all things new. Also, he says, Right, because these words are faithful and true. And he said to me, They have come to pass. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To anyone thirsting, I will give from the fountain of the water of life free. Anyone conquering will inherit these things, and I shall be his God, and he will be my son. Yes, I am coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Crown of Stones for you. Revelation 21. The crown of stones are for you, for your love to be made whole for you, 
for your pain to be healed for you, for your heart to beat as one with love for you, for your thinking and feeling hemispheres to be joined for you, for love to conquer fear for you, in you, for enlightenment of love's light for you, for love of God who is love of others as self, for you, a perfect measure made golden, for you, for mind, body and spirit to be one, joined, connected, whole, one, one, the I am, made whole again in love who is God, in you, for you, self actualization kudi, only love is one, complete and broken, for you. Vitality, vibrant vibrations, resonating positive energy for life, well-being and peace for you, for you and for others to be made whole in God's love again. Thanks be to God. The Heavenly City, Zion. When will she come to be, Zion, radiant with love's light? gleaming with gems of consciousness of the promised land for healing pain, for all nations, for all people, for the healing of pain, for peace on earth. From heaven to earth, twofold peace doubled as he frame, within and without, above and below. For heaven to come down to earth, it is his promise, this city radiant with love's light. Please enter freely and bathe in her light of minerals that Linus Pauling said you can trace every sickness, every disease and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. Just as sulphur in homeopathy is relevant to every disease, so it is when Jesus Christ, the whole spirit of love, says through John in the book of Revelation that sin puts us into the fiery lake of sulphur. Cells debased as six, six and six. Sick proteins destabilised by cortisols of doubt. Minerals and elements holding sacred geometrical forms, turning a hexagon into an octagon. Man's imperfection made whole, transformed to an infinite flow of eights. For perfecting the flow for love to flow freely as a river of gold. Eights, upright infinities of endorphin blood offering a blueprint for eternal life of the spirit made whole with our father's love, where spirit will not be cracked or broken, but will reach the height of Everest and beyond, perhaps the true Kohinoor, the true mountain of light. Heavenly Crystals, Revelation 21, 22, 1 Corinthians 15, 52, the last trumpet. crystals. You fascinate me as a hungry desire for food, temptations that are not unhealthy. You glisten catching light to refract and polarise a dark depression looming. You bring light to the dark. You have helped me and you have helped me to help others, each with your own unique elements connecting with our ether. That homeopathic connection of me to you, of us to you and the universe, dust to dust the place we unite as one. Your rainbow of colours, matching the resonance of our chakras, vibrations of sound and colour, a symphony played as an orchestra of geometric patterns matching ourselves, connecting elements, connecting love and light and life. Dust to dust, crystals you are the connection. Oh crystals, there is no mystery to how you work and how you do heal. You are not new age, but old age, as old as the ancient of days, older than man himself. However, it is woman who sees your beauty and intuitively knows your healing powers beyond your sparkle. You are old age, not new age, and not of the Antichrist, but of the new Jerusalem for heaven to come down to earth, glowing as a jasper stone for healing all nations and assisting in the princely peace process worthy of honour for twofold peace and heaven on earth. Peace within and peace without with others, self and God who is love, worthy of honour, made golden by the golden rule for positive love. Love is not a cortisol. Why do we complicate love? 
crystals. You have so much to say to make crystal clear where we have fallen short, and yet with love, kindness, reason and understanding, you fill the missing link between heaven and earth, between mind and body in our nervous system. You fill the void, repairing the messaging system for life, for love to reconnect. We can be changed just as in the twinkling of an eye. We will be changed just as in the twinkling of an eye, as it is written. Crystal gemstones, you are the catalyst back to love from a darkened place. A treasure found, a language translated for healing. You light the way to the iron rods in the mitochondria of our cells for vitality, health and well-being. You facilitate our cell formation, an ability to detoxify our body, the temple where we do dwell, the temple where love does dwell in us. Love is not a cortisol. It is sin that is anti to Christ's love made whole and one in us. Do not fall into the lake of sulphur twice. Crystals, you work even when raw, perhaps more beautiful straight from the ground, truly treasures found. Everything real is invisible. Gifts of jasper transformed from pearls. Only our truth will set us free, and Jesus Christ is coming quickly, where we will learn war no more. So, <clears throat> apologies for uh, moving the camera, but I did that as uh, people walked past or ran past or cycled past, just trying to avoid uh, getting uh, unknown people in there. So uh, yeah, so there is a pinky hue tonight. Uh, it's uh, clear on on here. So I'm going to end with uh, with the poem Perusia. Uh, Perusia means the return and presence of Christ. So God willing, may this be that time for His return, for mankind to wake up to His love. Love is not a cortisol stress hormone. God's love avoids cortisol, stress hormones, the Ten Commandments cover it really. And uh, yeah, let's not get caught by the cortisols because they're very unpleasant. They're very uncomfortable, they're stressful, they're anxious, they're depressed, they're not feeling good. So uh, yeah, let's seek the naturally occurring endorphins, the endorphin love made whole and one in us. Perusia. Jesus Christ is returning quickly. Parousia. I think when he comes again, the sky will turn soft pink with a golden haze and wild magenta dashes. There will be warmth in your heart, my heart and everyone's hearts will beat as one with love. When he comes again, Will we be ready? Will we have prepared our bodies? Can we reside in his love without betrayals, greed and war? Can love reside with fear? When he comes again, are we ready to embrace him? I am ready to soar beyond the moon and stars, perch on Jupiter's moons, float the rings of Saturn and drop to Earth in a flash. Sapphire blue, planet Earth. Water we are all made up of, hydrogen and oxygen, elements we share, molecular patterns harmonising, uniting life. When the sun shines, water evaporates into clouds, and in every cloud there is a rainbow. Rainbows join you and me with the sky and sea, can you see them? Auras, emitting colours, waters reflecting frequencies of love's light of love, with his love. Can all be rainbows? Can all be light? So, happy Passover. Jesus Christ is coming quickly. Amen.